when I was probably about four years old, and I lived in a little town and up in northern Michigan, a resort town, Houghton Lake, Michigan. It was during the uh, Great Depression, and I had a mile and a quarter to walk to school, and a neighbor lady had bought a brand new 32 Chevrolet, little blue coupe with yellow wheels, and I fell in love with this car. Promised myself that someday I would own all that I could. This is what I learned to drive on, a 1936 Chevrolet pickup. We have here the Chummy Roadster, a 1918 V8 Chevrolet. It was a rather expensive car, but it had unique features. Windshield in the top wood is all polished mahogany, and this is what they called a mohair top. And this is a very unique engine, a different sort of a V8 than, than we're used to today. As you can see, it had nickel-plated valve covers. The carburetion was in the center of it and each car came equipped with an oil can. This is the business I used to be in. This is a 1926 Chevrolet boat tail speedster. They added tail lights, a spare tire on the back, and different accessories to make it a little more uh, pizzazzy. We have here a 1914 Chevrolet Royal Mail Roadster. It's the first year for the four-cylinder Chevrolet. This is the accelerator, the larger one, or the gas as we know it, and the short one is the spark control. These are what we call parking lights. They're oil lamps, and they have a wick on the inside that are lit until you blow them out. And this is the first year for the Chevrolet bow tie that's so uh, distinct and recognized by the world today. Over the years, I have probably had approximately 200 cars in trucks, but it stems back from the 32 Chevrolet. 